Hi everyone, welcome to Math Key. Today I will teach you an important topic in mathematics identifying coefficients. What is a coefficient? A coefficient is simply a number that is written in front of a letter. A coefficient is a number that is joined to a letter. Supposing we have the number 9 and the letter Y. If we join this 9 to the letter Y by a multiplication operation, then the 9 becomes the coefficient of the letter Y. I know you will be wondering, where is the operation between the 9 and the Y? Fine. Whenever a number is written directly before a letter without any operation, there is a multiplication operation between them, though it is invisible. So, the term 9y can be written again as 9 times y. Now, supposing we have the expression 5d plus 7, and you are asked to find the coefficients in this expression. First of all, coefficients are always associated with letters. In this case, there are two terms, 5d and positive 7. The positive 7 is a constant term, and we do not have anything to do with the positive 7, since it is a constant term. If you want to know how to identify constant terms in expressions or equations, you can check up on our videos. Now, what we are going to do is to keep away the positive 7, because it is not relevant here since we are looking for coefficient. The question is this, what is the coefficient of the letter D? Apparently, the only number that is attached to the letter D is 5. So, the coefficient of the letter D is 5. Now, if we have the expression 5 plus D, do not make the mistake of saying that the coefficient of the letter D is 5 because the number 5 and the letter D are joined together by an addition operation. Whenever a number and a letter to say are joined by addition operation, we cannot say that the number is the coefficient of the letter. Similarly, if we have the expression 5 take away D, we cannot also say that 5 is a coefficient of the letter D. By doing that, you will be breaking the math rule. Now, when do we say that a number is a coefficient of a letter? Whenever the number multiplies the letter, then we can say that the number is a coefficient of the letter. Or, whenever the letter is being divided by the number, we can easily say that the coefficient of the letter is the reciprocal of the number. Also note, a coefficient can be positive, it can be negative, it can be a fraction, and it can even be a decimal. Now, supposing we have the expression negative 3x to the second power plus 10 plus 2 over 7d. How do we find the coefficients of the letters x and d? Again, we are going to neglect the positive term because it is a constant term. In other words, it is not attached to any letter. First of all, I want you to understand that whenever we write a number with a positive operation, the number can be written without the operation and its value remains the same. For instance, the number plus 2 can be written as ordinary 2. This rule also applies to letters. So, plus k can be written as ordinary k. Plus y can be written as ordinary y. However, when a negative operation is written before a number, the negative operation remains there. For instance, negative 2 has to be written as negative 2. We cannot just get rid of the negative operation except that the negative 2 has to multiply another negative number, then we can get rid of.
of the negative operation. Now, finally, take note. When a letter is written alone, that is, in letter stands alone, without any number, without any operation, we have to understand that there is a positive operation in front of that letter and there is a, a, a constant coefficient of 1 in front of that letter. For instance, the letter X can be written as 1X and it can in turn be written as positive 1X. Now let's go back to our question. What is the coefficient of the letter X and what is the coefficient of the letter D? Here, Remember, we're neglecting the positive term. As for the x term, the number in front of the letter x is negative 3. So the coefficient of x in this expression is simply negative 3. Now we'll move to d. What number is in front of the letter d? Obviously, we have plus 2 over 7. So the coefficient of the letter d is 2 over 7. Take note, we have neglected the positive operation in front of the fraction 2 over 7. And that's because plus 2 over 7 is exactly the same as ordinary 2 over 7 without the plus operation. Now, if we have another expression, let's say negative 8 over 15m, take away h, take away 9. Here we will also neglect the negative operation, that's to say the negative 9, we'll neglect the negative 9 because it is not also attached to any letter. So we will neglect the negative 9 as a term. Our emphasis or our concentration will be on the terms that have letters. So there are two letters here, M and H. The question is this, for the M term, what number is in front of the letter N? Obviously, we have negative 8 over 15 in front of the letter M. So, the coefficient of the letter M is negative 8 over 15. We we'll move to the H. Here, we can't just say that the coefficient of the letter H is this negative operation. Why? Because a negative operation cannot just be a coefficient. There should be a number to make it complete. Now, what do we do? We just said that a number that stands alone has an invisible coefficient of 1. What it means is we will just introduce our, 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 our coefficient of 1 in front of the letter H. So our coefficient becomes negative 1. So the coefficient of H is negative 1 and the coefficient of M is negative 8 over 15. But the term negative 9 is not a coefficient. It is a constant because it doesn't have any letter attached to it. Now, let us quickly take a summary of what you have learned in this video. You have learned that a coefficient is a number that is attached to a letter. Supposing we have the number 9 and we have the letter y. By the time we join the both of them together using the multiplication operation, then the 9 becomes the coefficient of the letter y. We also learned in the course of this video that the fraction 5y over 8 is exactly the same as the fraction 5 over 8y, both of the y's functioning as numerator. However, the fraction 5y over 8 is not equal to the fraction 5 over 8y. Because the second fraction, 5 over 8y, the y is functioning as a denominator. So the two fractions are not equal. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in our next video. Bye.